Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, would you say that these picks are majestic? A bit of a joke, really, because if you notice what these picks are, you'll be thinking, wow, they look just like the old majestic lock picks from the US. But if you look at the branding here, it says Super Tools, and here again it says Super Tools, which is a UK based locksmith tool distributor and manufacturer. So, what is going on? Well, let me just get the uh, disclosures out of the way first. This set wasn't sent to me by Super Tools, but it was sent to me by Vent in Germany, who are a reseller of Super Tools. Um, and they sent it to me for review, but it's not a paid review or thoughts of my own. I don't get any money off uh, sales or commission. Uh, it is just what it is. Uh, and so whilst I uh, have worked with Vent, they didn't make these and I wasn't involved in the design, distribution or sales or anything else. Anyway, that's a disclosure out of the way. What's going on with the whole Super Tools, Majestic Tools type thing? Well, if you know your Majestic Tools, Majestic are a US based company and I believe they invented the electric, uh, sorry, the mechanical, not electric, the mechanical uh, snap gun, the lock pick gun. They then went to make lock pick tools uh, very, very much like this and they were sold as majestic lock picks. But again, I haven't answered the question, why super tools? Well, what happened was after um, some issues within the company, Majestic actually chose to discontinue making the lock picks, you still might find some around, branded Majestic, but Suba have taken over the manufacture of those lock picks and just rebranded them as Suba tools. Um, but they are the same profiles in terms of dimensions and thickness and all the other things uh, as the Majestic picks. The only difference being is that they have made um, an improvement with the handles uh, by being a, 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 a silver anodized aluminium, aluminium handle instead of the old sandwich steel ones. So yeah, that's what we get. But what do we actually have here? Well, this is the PXP 10 kit, I think. And it comes in this shirt pocket size, is what they call it anyway, pick case. And this is actually full leather. It's stitched really nicely, as you can see. And overall, it's actually a really nice feeling uh, uh, case and it's quite thick material here. So I imagine it'll be pretty durable. So um, again, it's looking at that kind of what a locksmith would like to carry around uh, in their pocket and a robust pick kit is, is exactly that. It comes with nine lock picks and one um, broken key extractor. Here we go. And the profiles that are in here are like I said, an exact copy of the profiles which uh, Majestic were offering in their small size kits which is great if you liked that old kit, but you'll see that this is not a, a set of hooks, which are things which hobbyists would pre maybe prefer. They are a range of uh, rake tools and half diamonds and, and, and things like that. So what do we get? Well, we get um, one of these stepped rakes. I believe that uh, you can use them as a, a rocking rake, but um, a, a more like a, a a pulling action like a kinetic rake. Um, then we have a few of the rake tools. So again, we've got a slightly different sized a double peak and triple peaks. I'd argue again that this is more of a kinetic because um, like thickness more of a kinetic rake than these two, which are oh, so just hit the camera there. Uh, more of a sort of standard double peak and triple peak, albeit quite small. Then what else do we have? I'll just keep these open one side. I do like the profile of this city rake. It's really well defined. So we've got city rake in there. We've already talked about the um, harpoon there. A very nice flat topped short hook. You'll notice that the shank heights on the, this spring steel is surprisingly high, but they are very durable because of that, albeit uh, not suited to some finer, smaller keyways. Your classic small half diamond and medium half diamond, which um, very much act as a short and medium hook, as well as a sort of a raking scrubbing hybrid tool. And of course, for your wafer locks, a double snowman. If you're interested in the thickness of these tools in inches, they are about 24 thousandths of an inch, which is actually very nice. In millimeters, that's about 0.6 millimeters or thereabouts. 
whilst these are very similar to some of the extremely cheaply made uh, lock picks that you can buy f on various websites selling Chinese equipment, the overall finish of these is actually very, very high. Yes, they are made of spring steel, and I believe that they're pressed out, but you can see here that there aren't any burrs or rolled edges or um, any sort of general imperfections on this, even down in the grooves of uh, these peaks and troughs here on the city rake. So the overall production quality of these is quite high. Um, so a couple of features here, the handles, they uh, feel quite nice. Actually, they're quite light. They do feel lighter than the Majestic picks which I have handled in the past. Um, one thing I did notice, I don't know how much this will matter to you, but uh, you'll notice that if you have the rivets, they are riveted together uh, all on one side, you'll notice that sometimes the logo super tools here is uh, inverted on some on, and upside down on others. And uh, does it make a difference to the lock pick? No. Um, but if you are one of those people that you know, really like things just so, I don't know, it, it, it might not be to your preference, but uh, individually, the picks look just like this. And like I said, they're very, very light. The shank heights, as I said before, are very high, which does mean they're super strong and they give excellent feedback, uh, but they're not suited to therefore super tight, very small keyways, despite being 24 thousandths of an inch. I think the best thing to do would be to a couple of picks of some locks and uh, do some conclusions at the end. Before I do that though, I do just have to show you what tension tools we get. So naturally we have a little Y wrench for those shutter locks or wafer locks. And we only have two tension tools, but they are pretty nice in terms of their general dimensions. And they just appear to be made of a, a spring steel as well. So being a locksmith oriented set, I thought I'd try and use this harpoon. And I have to say that that is an incredibly sharp um, harpoon, which it should be. It's designed to go up into a lock, which has uh, a snap key in. I'm going to get under um, a pin drag back on the actual key itself and then pull and look at that. It dug into the, um, the the brass of that broken key like that and was able to just pull it out. I mean, just, I mean, it's so sharp. So this clearly works. Um, I think it's somewhat reliant like all harpoons are on there being enough clearance to be able to get the harpoon up um, like that onto the key to at least grab hold of the uh, the remaining piece of metal, but um, this is a, a genuine snap key from a locksmith uh, in a lock, so um, it's a pretty real test and this is a pretty nice sharp harpoon. We have a few of these kinetic star rakes with that extra um, high shank, uh, extra thickness of the metal there to allow it to withstand some of the forces we use. So it's going to pop this into the lock, make sure I've got that tension on, put it to the top and then pull out rapidly while gently turning and try to catch it as it opens. There we go, got it. I'm going to use this dual peak rake on this master lock. So again, pop that in, put some tension in, give it a, a, a little uh, rake under some light tension and hopefully rock that open. Yep, there we go. Because we can, let's uh, rake open a wafer lock using our snowman and this Y wrench because you know this is sort of what it's for so it's light tension here's my uh, tool I'll just go into the back and I think it's a double sided one. Oh, but we open up straight away for that so I'm going to try and do a bit of hybrid picking which means I'm going to use this triple peak to try and rake this six pin euro uh, into a full set and then try to finish it off with some uh, single pin picking so I'm just going to pop this rake in and just get a, a, a light scrub under some very light tension and we're already into that full set can you see that so I'm going to go in my pick tool and see what's left and I think if we're lucky it's pin number one and there we go we've got the open so there you go that is the super tools pxp 10 lock pick set now um, what I like to do at this point in the video is do some pros some cons and then things that maybe you know if I had any influence, which I don't, I'd improve. Um, so uh, pros, first of all, um, price-wise, this is a very, very good value set. And again, you have to shop around, but on the Vent website currently, these are 29 euros, 94 cents at uh, time of filming and exchange rates 
on the day, uh, which is about 26 pounds or thereabouts, or about 30 US dollars for uh, nine pixels plus a broken key extractor plus a very, very nice leather case. So the one good pro here is this is a very, very budget friendly pick set. Another thing is, is that the tools themselves are um, well made considering they are stamped tools. They don't have any uh, weird manufacturing inconsistencies or burrs or uh, ripples or anything weird going on. They're, they're actually made uh, for the type of processing that is used to make them very well. Uh, I think the handles um, themselves actually look quite nice. Um, and the, the feedback on these tools is, is great. Um, not least because, you know, the actual shank heights on the tools is quite robust. So yeah. Um, oh, I suppose the other pro is if you are looking for new majestic lock picks, because that's your preference, you like the spring steel and the uh, profiles and all the rest of it, then as far as I can tell, having played around with both, these are, um, a, a, they, they feel the same to me, honestly. Uh, so if you wanted a, a, a like for like replica, albeit with a, a different material handle, then you really are well catered for here. Cons then. Um, so cons, I think are, again, it should be obvious to any experienced hobby lock picker that these are very old school profiles that uh, and not a selection of profiles in terms of their shank height or actual pick profiles, which would appeal to a lot of hobby pickers. Now, at this price point, um, a, a new picker may decide to pick this up because it's got some rakes, it's got you know, it's got some tools and half diamonds. It, it's you know, it's got a nice case for the money. I think that's fair enough. But to um, you know, uh, an intermediate or experienced lock picker, a hobbyist lock picker, we'd probably be looking for more uh, different types of um, a pick tool single uh, for single pin picking so lots of different hooks maybe a few less rakes we probably wouldn't want the um, harpoon and we probably want a few more turners in there as well so I, I don't think this suits many hobby hobbyists or hobby pickers for the most part although like I said there might be a small use case for um, a, a beginner lock picker looking for a, a you know a set from a reputable company at a good budget. Um, another, I guess, con about this is that the shank heights, uh, whilst adding some great feedback and robustness to these picks, uh, and therefore a loss of durability, they do restrict you in manoeuvring through locks with tighter keyways, a lot of the sort of European locks. Um, the other thing is that these rivets, um, again, are a bit old school and just may not appeal to you. They're perfectly comfortable. It's just it may not appeal to you as a stylistic option. Um, although, of course, tastes vary person to person. In terms of what I'd improve on this set, well, it depends on which side of the coin you're looking. I suppose if I was only looking at the locksmith side of things, then I would still say a couple more turning tools is essential. Uh, although making some out of some old spare wiper blade inserts really isn't that much of a hardship but a couple more turning tools would be great and I think even as a locksmith I just can't help but think that um, a, you know maybe a shorter hook and a medium hook as a minimum minimum would be useful to have in a kit like this. Anyway what do you think to this faithful recreation of the old majestic lock picks? Do you like them uh, or, or do you think that they are um, somewhat of a relic of the past? Do you know anybody that uses them and swears by them? Whatever your thoughts are, really genuinely interested to know. Stick your thoughts in the comments below. I do read them all and reply to as many as I can. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like it, then of course, please subscribe and I'll see you all next time.